Hello, my name is Johanna Juselius. I'm from the Helsinki region in Finland. And I'm a senior advisor at the Helsinki Uusimaa Regional Council. Helsinki is the capital of Finland. It's a country up north in Europe. And uh, I am here today and have been here yesterday as well with a delegation from my region. And we're really here to explore the different obstacles and advantages that come from different regions and areas in the global context. And some of the uh, solutions we are very aware of and we share with others, but some of them are new to us. And this is a tremendous advantage for us because it gives us such an opportunity to realize what's happening all over the world. And in terms of smart city in Helsinki, I could tell you a little bit about our context. We are a highly developed nation technically. We don't really have problems with an infrastructure, so we are very free to test and pilot different kind of uh, solutions that we think might be useful in terms of different areas, such as healthcare, building, mobility. And one of the issues that is really important to us at the moment is uh, mobility. And we have been able to develop a mobility as a service concept in the Helsinki region, which covers uh, some of the biggest cities around the capital region. And we have allowed the public and the private operators to start developing a platform where different companies can develop their services. And it now includes taxis, uh, private cars, all the public transport, also bikes, which is involved in the public transport in our region. And another addition to that is now the self-driving vehicles. We have been developing quite systematically for a few decades already the um, self-driving vehicles. And our great advantage at the moment is that our legislation already allows testing on public roads, which means that we don't have to go to particular testing areas to test these vehicles, but we can actually test these issues in the actual traffic. And that means that we don't only have to look at the technological issues of the vehicles themselves, but we can um, test how people are working. Because the um, issue with mobility at the moment is that it's not the vehicles that are unpredictable, it's the people that are unpredictable when they are in traffic. And we are, al we are now able to test the situations together with the uh, people and the vehicles. Also, we have extreme uh, living conditions. A lot of Finland is Arctic. So we are able to test the vehicles in road conditions that could be minus 27 degrees. So we are now developing self-driving vehicles and shuttle buses, which are capable of operating in rural areas and areas that are hard to reach, and also in very extreme weather conditions. So smart mobility is something that really could be the um, big step for our region. But even though we have all the um, technological advantages available, we are focusing on people. And it doesn't mean that we focus on people because we are lacking behind in the technology. We do feel that since we have the technology available, we really should make the most of trying to make it as a tool to make our societies work together. And that's why we have a lot of testing and piloting. It's called sandbox approach, which we do in our region. And elsewhere in Finland as well. And this means that we involve citizens into experiments. For example, we test um, rubbish collection in the uh, areas and we put sensors in the bins, but we also get the feedback from the people about where and when and how and what rubbish they want to get collected. Also the carbon neutrality goal, which we have for year 35, is it's going to be a challenge to reach it, but that involves all this kind of data to be collected so that we can collect um, rubbish also including all kinds of material waste. And we have to make sure that the collection of those is um, as smooth as possible. So in a way, I could in a nutshell say that um, Helsinki region is a great test bed for solutions that can be used elsewhere in the world. And I hope other areas would take advantage of that because our free legislation, for example, and the technological solutions and our experience of getting citizens involved is something that other regions also want to solve. So we are very free to share these experiences with others. 
uh, one thing that we do hope to get from others is um, uh, the the quantities, the experiences of having mega cities, bigger cities, these kind of areas. Because we, of course, are a small area. A region is 1.7 million people in total. So uh, we are very interested about the experiments that happen in cities with a very different scale because this obviously is is um, putting big and small together usually benefits both. That's our experience. So I hope to collaborate with you in the future as well. Thank you.